Good morning and welcome to Fibertown. I am Emily and I am Chain of Fools and Fibertown on the internet. Uh, it is September 18th, 2013 and I'm here on my porch. It is cold. It is sweater weather and Alice is probably going to be up here looking for some warmth so you might see her later. Um, hey everybody, how y'all doing? I am doing pretty well. Um, I've got my basket of goodies here to talk about today, and I want to say welcome to a few people. Actually, just one this week in the group. Um, Sam Dana, who's Dana from Israel. Hello and welcome. Um, really enjoying the group these days. We've got a lot of nice chatter and um, great people and interesting stuff that they're making. So go over and take a look and enter your FOs in the FO thread. Um, Thank you very much to Saki Knitter, who left an iTunes review. Thank you so much. It was it made my day on a kind of yucky day. So I appreciate that very much. Um, so today we have one show and tell. We have some whips. We have some spinning. And we have some acquisitions. Actually, just one. It is not here yet, but I want to talk about it. And we have some up-and-coming things to talk about. Alice. Sorry. I'm trying to... Um, keep her from eating my potted plants. All right, so I really hate to start this off with this particular show and tell, but it is time to close this chapter. Let's just do a little review, shall we, of my felted knitting experience. You wanna come up? Hi, babe. She's a sweetheart. Um, okay, my felted knitting experience. As you recall, uh, Heartland Knits Felted Mittens Challenge. Please knit some. I think she's got the challenge open until the end of the month and she's looking for 50 mittens. I don't know where she is yet. I haven't gotten a chance to watch her latest, but she's got great prizes and it's for an excellent cause. And so this is my attempt. Pair number one. They look funny, but they're big enough and they'll do. Pair number two. Probably my most successful looks wise but they're small. Every yarn felt so differently. Pair number three, which I knit out of Malabrigo Chunky in the Cold China colorway this week, and literally they were so fast. But I thought I would be smart and modify the pattern a little bit because why not? I thought it was chunky. I didn't need to knit the gusset increases exactly the way the pattern had them. I thought I just, um, you know, normally on a gusset, you increase one row, knit a row plain, increase plain row, increase row, plain row. I just decided to leave out the plain rows because the rows were so tall. I was thinking there'd be plenty of room. And I also shortened the cuff. And as I'm sure you all could have predicted, but not me because I have some sort of um, brain damage when it comes to felted mitten making. They didn't come out as planned. They are wide enough, but they are stubby. The cuff isn't long enough. Look at that. And the thumb is just bizarre. And I kind of knew this, you know, I don't know if this is just me. We've experienced it glasses with my stubby mittens. I don't know if this is just me, but sometimes I just, I get going something on something manically and I can't stop, even though I know that it's headed to disaster. Should I send them? I'm hoping that she will have plenty of people to, that could use them. They'd be great oven mitts, probably. See, I got my hair done. I got it repurpled. Except it's not quite the right shade, and I'm going to going back right before Shenandoah and getting it repurpled again. Re repurpled. So I know I said I was done before. This time I really, really, really am done. You got some weirdness coming your way, Vicky. But with the best of intentions. Okay, so that is my show and tell for this week. And um, let's hope that I can move on now and not knit any. This three pairs of mittens in like one month. I need a break. 
Okay, so my work's in progress. Let me show you first my herbaceous socks. Well, herbaceous sock. The, the hal, the herbaceous along is, I'm amazed at how quickly people are knitting these. Um, Stitch That, who was one of my test knitters, she's already like great guns on them. Uh, Middle-aged Pearl, I think is almost, she finished one already. Planos is almost done with hers. I know Espresso Knitter has one done. So I'm kind of lame compared to you all. So what I decided to do was shorten my cuff so that I have a, a hope of getting these done in time. And you have till the end of October. So if you haven't cast on yet, you have six weeks to knit a pair of socks still. And they do go quite fast once you get into the pattern. So I am using Shalimar Yarns Zoe Sock in the Bark colorway. And here it is. Ugh. This yarn has issues, my friends. This yarn has a lot of broken plies. Um, but I've knit a good stretch on it now without a broken ply. And you see these are all the, the areas where I had to cut and go to better yarn and start again. So I was thinking I don't want to risk doing a full length cuff and having lots more ends to weave in if the yarn is broken again. So I'm just going to minimize that possibility. I apologize for the noise. Alice is killing her purple bow. Okay. So I was thinking I'll make anklets. And this color is really not accurate at all. It's so much more coppery in real life. Um, anyway, I did not do the decorative heel. So I knit one lace repeat. Here it is. I'm doing a sturdier heel than the decorative heel. And I have, I'm just about to start the gusset decreases. And yes, um, I'm doing another bottom of the heel. Gusset, because it just fit me so well. So yeah, it's got some interesting kind of pooling where the stitch, um, the stitch has changed for the heel flap, but in general, it's lovely as far as the, you know, the tonality of the yarn. It's not pooling or flashing in other places. So yeah, gusset decreases, woohoo, and then the foot should be quite fast. That is my howl, my herbaceous socks. Okay, going back in my cherry blossoms bag. That is whip number one. Whip number two is another pair of socks. And those are in my mushroom bag. Just looking a little bit worse for the wear. I think it needs new ties. These are not long enough. And it's got fiber on it. Okay, so this is my sock design, and it is out of Blue Moon Fiber Arts Socks at Rock in the Water Lilies colorway. And I should say that I'm knitting both of these socks on Carbons, DPNs, on US, no, not, yeah, US one and a half, which is a 2.5 millimeter. And again, I'm just going to show you the back. Um, I am really enjoying this knit, and I've got, I'm down to the toe. I'm about to start the toe decreases. Let's see if I can show you. That's just the back still. There is a design on the front, and I'm trying to figure out, I'm still working on the design, trying to figure out how I'm going to, if I can keep the design all the way down the toe. So I'm going to have a little quiet time today and figure that out. And then uh, the pattern's done. It is written, except for the toe, and I am looking for test knitters. So, if you are so inclined, just drop me a PM on Ravelry. And if you can knit it pretty fast, that would be even better because I think it's, it's going to be ready pretty soon. The Socks at Rock is like no other sock yarn. It really is amazing. It is, it's just, it um, holds up so, so well. It has no nylon, but it's really like nothing else. The, um, I knit a pair of Breaking Heart socks with Socks at Rock, and I've worn them for two years, and there's no pilling, there are no holes, it is, it is amazing stuff. Okay, my third work in progress is the Pine Forest blanket out of my handspun alpaca, and this continues to give me headaches. 
Um, okay. Um, and it's a simple lace pattern. It's a free pattern. I'm just going to tink back a few stitches so I can show you without um, being in the middle of a, or the beginning of a row. Uh, what happens with this blanket is I go three rows forward, two, four rows back. Two rows forward, one row back. And I'm just getting tired of it. But it's growing fast, and I would like to continue with it. I don't have another pattern in mind for this yarn. But I don't know, folks. It's it's probably another easy fix, yada, yada, yada. But, ah. Uh, oh, and I just lost my marker. Okay, here it is. Pine Forest Baby Blanket. Well, it's not a baby blanket. It's going to be quite stretchy, as you can see. It's on like a 40 inch circular, but it's going to stretch like crazy because it's alpaca. So yeah, that's what the lace should look like. It has the spine going up the center of each repeat right there. And on my latest row, I noticed that, yeah, here we go. So if you look here, the spine goes up nicely right up the center. However, on the next one, let me find it. I'm off a stitch right here. The spine does not go all the way up the center. Oh wait, is that it? Here it is, right here. See, all of a sudden this middle stitch is over here. So back I go again. I, I'm just frustrated with it. Um, when it's going well, I'm loving it. La, 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 la. But now when it's going well, I'm always like, there's some mistake somewhere. And it's going to come back to bite me and I'm going to have to rip, rip, rip. And really it's better to tink, tink, tink because there are yarn overs and there's a bazillion stitches. Not a bazillion, a hundred and some. So... I, I'm a little frustrated with this, but I really like the way it's coming out when it's going well. So, I think I'm just going to, I may have to put in some stitch markers, be a bazillion of them, but that might be the solution. So I'll probably do that. Okay, that is it for whips. I have spinning. I have another bobbin full of some woolen spun fin singles. I probably have enough wool to do maybe two more bobbins. And I think I'm going to get close to a thousand yards, maybe between 800 and a thousand yards of this when it's all finished. So more gray cardigans? Yes, indeed. Um, I need to get some color on my wheel after that's done for sure. But I do have color on my spindle. Oh, and I forgot to bring out, I have a cup of this done. I have one whole cup of Poonies in Space from Gourmet Stash. This is on my trindle. Hang on, I've got a girl here. Oof. Hello. This little baby needs a coat soon. I'm going to make her a coat out of Noro. Would you like a Noro coat, darling? Um... Which may sound crazy to some people, but when I've tried to felt Noro, it takes like four washings to get that stuff to felt. So, um, she needs a Noro coat. She does. Be all stripy and pretty. Oh, she took a walk today. Yeah, a walk. You did. She took walkies today with her, <laughs> with her friend Pippi, the Greyhound. Yes. They are so opposite of each other. Pippi is reserved and all pointed and angular like greyhounds are and Alice is not reserved and she is all round and weird she's precious though so yes baby girl is gonna get a coat because she's got look at that she's got no hair down there she gets cold all right you gonna stay with me or are you gonna go all right sit down here so there you go there you go there's Alice so yes, so I have my Poonies in Space. They are spectacular. Everyone, I'm spinning at the bus stop and stuff, and everyone's like, wow, that 
color is amazing. Um, so this is my second cup, and it's on my trindle with the scully beads, green skulls. Um, super duper enjoying this. You know, I used to think this was my favorite spindle, my favorite drop spindle. I think I'm, I enjoyed my golding better. Enjoyed it more, I should say. But this is still very, very, very fun, and I might be on the, in the market for another drop spindle. I'm kind of enjoying doing all these poonies. It's gotten me back into spindling. So I may even do ply this one on a, on a spindle. I don't know. If, I'll probably use a slightly bigger spindle to ply. La, 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 la. What else? Um, and this, it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything knit for teal timber, but this is pretty darn close to teal timber colors. So I might spin for teal timber. I don't know if that's allowed, but that's kind of the plan because I don't think anything else is going to get knit. It's already the 18th, right? September is half gone. So, um, acquisitions. My friend Sarah, who lives in Germany, alerted me to the fact that Opal, and I had known about this, but I hadn't seen them in, in the States yet. Opal's new series is The Little Prince, and I love The Little Prince, and I had some readings at, at my wedding from The Little Prince, and um, she's ordered me some um, Little Prince yarn, some Opal sock yarn from Germany. So that'll be coming at some point. Um, not sure if I'm going to have her bring it when she comes the next time or, or mail it to me. We'll see. So up and coming, we have Shenandoah. It's about, it's about 10 days away. Um, so I'm very excited. Looking forward immensely to that, um, especially since I'm not going to Rhinebeck. So yeah. Oh, what else is up and coming? Gourmet Stash has Game of Thrones pre-orders. She has some for poonies and some for triples. She's on Etsy, and she's the one who's made all these amazing poonies that I've been spinning, and she's got, let's see, for the Game of Thrones theme, she has Jon Snow, Anya Stark, sorry, Anya, Arya Stark, and Khaleesi and the Cal, basically. So she's, she's making colorways based on those characters, and I'm going to have to have some. I'm thinking I might try the Tribbles, um, because I haven't had any of those yet, and I'm getting a ton of poonies at Shenandoah from her, so I think I'm going to go Tribbling. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Um, so check that out if you haven't already. She says that they're going to be spectacular, and I don't doubt it. Okay, so the... We talked um, a few weeks ago about the Hero Sweater, H-I-R-O, it's by Julia Farwell Clay, and there was some interest in doing the Hero Sweater, but not quite yet. However, there's talk now, there's chatter on the Fiber Town Ravelry board about doing a, a Hero, a Hal, another Hal, a Hero Along in November. So, you might want to think about it. I think it's a fantastic, I can't wait to knit a worsted weight sweater in the round, be super fast. So yeah, I'm making plans for that probably when the herbaceous is finished, we'll, we'll do that one next. The all howls all the time. Oh, there's my owl. Open your eyes, owl. Let people see your buggy eyes. Oh, she's too tired. Squirrel it away, the fat squirrel. I watched her podcast this morning. I love her shenanigans. She's awesome. She's having a squirrel it away. Sal Cal, I think. So if there's something you've been saving, um, something precious, it doesn't have to be like old stash, but something you've been holding on to and waiting for the perfect moment to use it, now's the time. And I have selected my squirrel it away fiber. It is from Maryland Sheep and Wolf of this year. It is a hobbledy hoy bat. Oh, it's got all this stuff in it. See everything that's highlighted? Seriously? Super fine merino top, bamboo viscose top, tencel top, faux cashmere, firestar, nylon, tussa silk, fine alpaca, angelina sparkle, sari silk, silk noil, baby BFL locks, and pullworth. 
So I have I have spun one of her bats before. You go in. See ya. And it's such an experience. Um, shall we open her up? I've showed you this open before, but why not? Let's look at it again. That's side A. This is side B. I'll probably just strip it down and maybe I'll spin it over the fold. Ugh. Colors. What is the name of this colorway? Does it have one? It's called, oh yes, Bear Island Art Bat. Probably spin it kind of thick. Maybe I'll look at my spinner's book of yarn design and um, choose a new spinning technique that I've never done. I need to do that. Yeah. I think this will go on the wheel after my fin. Because I'll be jonesing for some color. Okay. That's it, you guys. It's a kind of a shorty this week. And I hope everyone is doing very, very well. Still not used to the glasses and the glare. Um, yeah, let me know what's going on. Let me know what's what you all are making. Post it in the FO thread. Um, talk in the chatter thread. Um, and until next time, you all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>